story is riveting, the characters are unforgettable, but there's also infused into the rhythm of Carmen so much dance, both because the leading character is a gypsy and dip gypsies dance, and, and because it's set in Spain, and Spain is a country of music that uh, makes us want to dance, right? And uh, it made this Frenchman, Bizet, very Spanish, and I think in some ways he was very effective at creating um, music that fits the story. a song, that's the calmest it gets, and from there it goes into frenzy. And with Bizet's orchestration, which Richard Strauss said would be a model for any composer to study the way Bizet orchestrated, all the voices are so vibrant and so full. Um, it makes a great impact as Act Two proceeds. Another little dance is a gypsy dance that Carmen sings when she finally gets together with Don Jose, uh, who goes to prison for two months just so that she can be free. Uh, but of course, he, he doesn't do it for nothing. He sort of shows up at a little tavern called Lilas Pastia, and he is very anticipating uh, that he's going to be Carmen's lover. And uh, for this uh, moment, while things are still good between them, uh, she does uh, a dance just for him. she sings playing the castanets. Unfortunately, there's only about 16 bars before something happens that immediately interrupts what was going to be, I think, a nice, eve a, a, a very romantic night. And it's this, duty calls. Because alas, Jose is a soldier. And when the bugle sounds, retreat in the, in the evening, you get back to the barracks. And so that begins a whole Shana, which uh, is really one of the best in the, in the piece. <laughs> 